Welcome, товарищи. Welcome to my backyard. Today, we're going to be going inside the Marsiska and I'll be showing you detailed instructions how to make a mini catapult. This is the official tutorial for this. The first step is to build the frame and to do so, we're going to need two clothespin hangers and four popsicle sticks like this. We're going to take a popsicle stick and the spring, we're going to put the popsicle stick underneath the spring, like so. Repeat on the other side. Repeat the same thing with the... The next step is to take three popsicle sticks and one of these paper clips. And this is right in the middle, like this. This is going to be the top. The bottom of the frame consists of five popsicle sticks. What you're gonna to need to do is have four lined up like this, and the fifth one laid right on top, like so. Then you're gonna take uh, your main, the biggest paper clip, and put it right in the middle. So now you have the bottom of the frame, the top of the frame, and your two sides. So we're gonna then add our arms of the frame, like so, and add the second. Very solid. So next we're going to add the very top of the frame, and we're going to do it with the clips downward. We're going to put them in between these sticks, like so. So as we put this on, the very top should rest on top of these closed pins. So as you guys remember, this is the front. And then we're going to remove one of these arms. And just leave one. And as we flip, the rear clip should be aimed backwards. And the very last one, on the very far end, is going to be our spoon anchor point. The very front, we're going to flip forward. The one that we flip forward and the remaining one on top, we're going to leave together and we're going to put a rubber band in between these two holding this frame together. So it should look like this with the rubber band tightly in place right here. <clears throat> Again, this is your front. This is your back. The back has the catapult arm attachment here. We're going to need to build the back. To build the back, we're going to need four close pins. We're going to need one, two, one, and two. That's the requirements for the legs. We're going to thread this through from the top so it barely holds right here. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And the most important thing is you want the clamping ends on the outsides. And add the last piece on the other side. So the finished product should look like this. I'm going to repeat and do the other side. Okay, so now I have two identical pieces. What we're going to need to do is in the middle you're gonna push and as you push you're gonna push from one side in, inward and what that does that creates something like this so one clip is going inside and the other one is spreading outwards like so. You'll need to repeat this with this one. So now you have two legs. The next thing that we're going to do is attach the legs to the frame. You put them on the inside. Like so. Then you add the second one. Next, we're going to add one popsicle stick to the back. So 
So when you add it to the back, it should look like this. So after that, the next step is to take and make some support arms. And the support arms are going to go from here to here. And to do so, you need one clothespin and one popsicle stick, like so. Repeat with the other side. Okay, when, now when you have these, you're going to attach them to the top and angle downwards. Like so. So, the next thing is we're going to take rubber bands and attach all the loose points. As you're building this at home, you will notice which parts are loose, which are not. Uh, feel free to be very liberal with the rubber bands and put them wherever you want them to be. There's no such thing as having too much rubber bands. Go ahead and add two rubber bands to here and here in the back. We're going to add two rubber bands on each side to the sides. So now it should look like this. So two rubber bands in the front. Next thing you're gonna need two more rubber bands. And we're just so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rubber band You're gonna do is you're gonna take your rubber band on the support arm and you're gonna stretch it and pull it over the bottom of the frame here. And what this does it just keeps the support arm snug and tight against the frame. The next step is to take two more rubber bands, double them, and add this on the sides. So, you know what, let's double it. Like so. So the next step, as you guys have guessed it, is the actual launching arm. And we're gonna test quickly for alignment. Yep, this is gonna be nice. Now this is an upgrade. My previous one, I had a plastic spoon and it had a little flex. This is gonna be all metal, heavy duty. To make this easier on you, you're gonna have to take some rubber bands and double them up and put it on the, the spoon, like so. So whenever you put it against the hinge, you can just slide the rubber band onto that metal there. See, I have it installed and it's not, it's pretty firm, but if you feel like like even in my case, there's just a little bit of wobble. Go ahead and add as many rubber bands as you need to make sure that this thing is solid. Now the last part, as you guys can see, is actually the rubber bands being added to the launching arm. We're gonna use six rubber bands, uh, three here, and I'm gonna put three more. And it's a very simple method. What we're doing is we're putting it around and through, like, like so. That's the concept that we're using here. Like so. Next, we're gonna take some of our bands and we're gonna strengthen these corners. As you guys can see, I've over-engineered this mini catapult there is no way you have to use all of these rubber bands. I'm, I'm just making sure. So you guys feel free to use as many as you want. Final words. Okay, final words before we go out and shoot this thing. I have actually added some tape to the bottom of this so the rubber bands won't slide down as we draw it back. Uh, make sure that all of your, your design is linear and symmetrical on both sides. I've actually went ahead and uh, actually move the sides all the way flush with this metal piece. Uh, same here. All right, let's go outside and shoot this thing. For a trigger mechanism, I've simply added this garden gate latch. And as you can see, this is how it works. I have added a piece of wire to the back of it so I can fire it safe 
and have it loaded like this and whenever I want to shoot I just pull it back. Okay, shooting rock number one. As you guys can see, this was a very easy tutorial. If for some reason you felt I was going too fast, always remember you have a pause button. And I am shooting this in 1080p, so you can see it in high definition. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, thank you for watching.